The mysteries of the universe are endless. Referred to as our final frontier into discovery, space has always contained extraordinary and mind-blowing mysteries since we first pointed our telescopes to the sky. This wonder and amazement has only grown as our technology has developed, allowing us to travel to these destinations we never believed possible. Instead of granting us answers to our questions, it has only led to grander theories and even more puzzling mysteries to surface. Here are four mysterious space discoveries that we have made and don't yet fully understand. Hexagon on Saturn in 1981, as both of the space probes involved in the Voyager mission passed by Saturn had began snapping many different angles of its surface, they discovered an anomalous property of the gas giant that is still unanswerable even to this day. Located at the north and south poles of the planet were large open vortexes. This was only made increasingly more mysterious as the probes soon discovered that the North Pole Vortex created a massive hexagonal pattern on the planet. This was compounded in its strangeness as future NASA missions would later confirm this anomalous property never before theorized on many of the other planets in the solar system. Juno analyzing a strange hexagonal pattern on the North Pole of Jupiter and Voyager 2 noticing vortexes on the poles of Neptune. Not only was the scientific community baffled by these findings and are still attempting to hypothesize the cause of the anomalous properties, but these discoveries led to a massive outcry from conspiracy theorists who had predicted this planetary behavior eons before the observation. The hollow Earth community pointed to these open vortexes at the north and south poles of the planets as proof of the physics behind the conspiracy theory of the Hollow Earth Hypothesis. In 1947, a man by the name of Admiral Byrd wrote a diary about his events of setting world records around the world. One of these entries included his journey to the North Pole, where he claimed he witnessed a massive open vortex that reached inside the Earth. When he flew inside, he claimed that there were inhabitants of the inside of the Earth that were not human but were entirely aware of human beings the creation of our weapons of mass destruction, and the governments of the world. Many hollow earth conspiracy theorists pointed to this witness account as evidence of their hypothesis, but were argued against by scientists and physicists at the time, claiming for such an occurrence to be impossible. Interestingly enough, Google Earth blurs out the poles of our Earth and international laws make it illegal for planes to fly directly over poles despite it being the shortest path from certain areas to get across the Earth. This theory only gained more traction as proof of other planets in the solar system surfaced containing these vortexes. Hollow Moon On November 14, 1969, in an attempt to better understand the makeup of the Moon, NASA placed multiple seismic readers across its surface and then soon launched a lunar space module on a collision course for the Moon. The idea behind this theory was to allow the lunar module to strike the Moon with such a dramatic force that it would send reverberations and specific frequencies throughout the entire core of the Moon and allow the seismic readers to capture this data and help to accurately map out the inside of the Moon. What they soon discovered was baffling. Original theories and hypotheses had suggested that these reverberations would not last longer than a minute. Given that the surface of our Moon is covered in mostly basalt, which would work to absorb these reverberations and, given its extensive presence, was believed to make up the majority of the mantle of the Moon at this time. It was mathematically calculated to prevent the seismic activity from lasting for a prolonged period of time. However, as the lunar module struck the Moon, the entire celestial body began reverberating for over an hour. NASA scientists describing its reverberations similar to that of a church bell ringing. There is still no reasonable hypothesis for the cause of this today and no further information can be gathered given NASA's lack of future missions to the Moon. The most legitimate theory available at this time comes from the works of Russian researchers Michael Vassin 
and Alexander Shabakov that had posited the artificial moon theory. They began to notice that the craters of the moon, regardless of the impact size or diameter, all equaled out in depth. They also noted that these craters generally had very shallow and flat interiors and in other areas even containing convex bottoms. They hypothesized that meteors are hitting an armored hull underneath the basaltic surface of the moon, preventing further depths into the celestial body, and believing the moon to be a possible spaceship created by a complex alien life. This theory was only reinforced as the mathematics for the moon and its density became an apparent issue. Given its size, location, and theorized general makeup, the moon should have a density of roughly 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. However, given its orbital path and overall physics, we find the moon to only be 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter, causing the moon to be significantly less dense compared to our Earth despite theories of the moon's creation coming from the materials of the Earth. Reinforcing facts also soon began becoming connected to the strange anomalous properties of our moon. The moon is too big to have naturally been caught into the orbit of our planet. For comparison, our moon is 2,159 miles in diameter, whereas the largest Martian moon is merely 14 miles in diameter. This has led to a wide array of debates among the scientific community as to its formation, and even recreations and simulations of impact theory have proven ineffective and mathematically implausible as to the formation of our moon. Strange coincidences have also occurred. Our moon has the perfect diameter at the perfect distance to create a perfect solar eclipse. The odds of this naturally occurring are astronomical and have led to further questions as to the viability of our moon naturally forming. Life on an asteroid In 2007, an astrobiologist at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center named Richard Hoover made a shocking discovery. When analyzing pieces of a meteorite which fell in France in 1864, he discovered structures that appeared to be fossilized microbes Many NASA scientists challenged his hypothesis by stating that fossilization of microbes could have occurred as the meteorite struck the Earth and may not have been original inhabitants of the meteorite itself. After further research, however, this rebuttal was quickly disproven, as definitive proof was established that the fossilization occurred prior to the meteorite's landing. Richard Hoover specifically states in his papers and presentations his findings as Many of the filaments shown in the figures are clearly embedded in the meteorite rock matrix. Consequently, it is concluded that the filament cannot logically be interpreted as representing filamentous cyanobacteria that invaded the meteorite after its arrival. They are therefore interpreted as the indigenous remains of microfossils that were present in the meteorite rock matrix when the meteorite entered the Earth's atmosphere. These reports and hypotheses only helped to contribute to the widely debated theory of panspermia, which was a recently hypothesized general theory of life which holds the belief that perhaps all life across the universe is seeded via meteorites. This posits forth the mathematical implications that perhaps life overall is not very rare and rather quite common. That perhaps even ourselves were planted here by a crashed meteorite millennia ago that worked and evolved into more complex life over time given theories of adaptation. Perhaps out there in the expanse of the universe across many different planets, there could be additional complex life that had the ability to be planted by a similar meteorite and evolve into intelligent life. Or perhaps, even more mysteriously, out there in the empty expanse of the cosmos on other Earth-like planets, there is life that evolved from a similar strain of microbes and one day, if we ever have the pleasure of visiting the expanse of the universe, we would find on some distant planet, humans like us. Martian Bacteria – Methane Cycle In 2004, the initial signs of life on Mars arose for NASA astrobiologists and research scientists. 
They saw signs of a methane plume ejecting from the surface of Mars and began to quickly theorize its implications as an organic molecule and after many sleepless nights, worked to send a Martian rover with the capability of testing the Martian surface for additional organic molecules. Later in 2014, Martian rover Curiosity began collecting evidence of methane traces in the Martian atmosphere and made a startling discovery. The Martian rover found that the methane on Mars grew more concentrated by season in the Martian atmosphere and directly correlated with the Martian seasons overall. This led researchers to believe that this correlation between concentration by season was additional proof to the hypothesis that Mars contains some form of life. Methane is also an organic molecule and the majority of methane on Earth also correlates with our seasons as certain bacteria and microbes eject this organic molecule into the atmosphere during summer and autumn seasons, similar to what the data shows in spikes of methane across the Martian atmosphere. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the Red Planet, the odds of this observation seems to be more and more promising with the passing years as Curiosity uncovers additional complex organic molecules and continues its drilling processes to locate biosignatures of life. But what do you all think of these mysterious discoveries of space? Be sure to leave a comment below and let us know what is going through your mind or help to contribute to the conversation by posting forward your own theories and explanations for these mind-baffling discoveries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.